Hello, second grade. This is module two, lesson nine. And our objective today is I can measure lengths of string using measurement tools and use tape diagrams to present and compare lengths. Okay, so here I have uh, some a centimeter, uh, a couple centimeter links here and I'm going to give you a length and centimeters and you are going to tell me what is 10 more than that length so for instance if I say 30 what is 10 more than 30 40 correct all right, let's move on. Okay, now we have 45. What is 10 more than 45? Do you say 55? If you did, good job. Our next one is 51. What is 10 more than 51? <coughs> Did you say 61? If you did, good job. How about 10 more than 63? Did you say 73? If you did, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Good job. And how about 10 more than 76? Did you say 86? Good job. All right, here is our application problem. Now remember, with our application problems, you can solve these however you feel comfortable using whatever strategy you feel comfortable with. So, <coughs> the first thing we need to do is we need to read it. So it says Richard's sunflower is 9 centimeters shorter than Oscar's. Which Richard's sunflower is 75 centimeters tall. How tall is Oscar's sunflower? So go ahead and push pause and then push play when you're done solving this. All right, let's compare our answers. I wrote down that I was going to add 75 plus 9. What answer did you get? Did you get 84? You did. Good job. Okay, so I have a zigzag line here. And I need to measure it. But if I use just a ruler, it's going to be too hard because there's too many zigzags here. You can't exactly use a straight ruler to measure zigzags like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a string and I'm going to put one end of the string here and then I'm going to lay it across this zigzag line to the end of it and then I'm going to stretch it out here and see how long it is. So let's try that. Let's lay a string on our zigzag here. Remember, we need to start at the end here. So let's put our string there. Then what I can do is I can pinch the end of my string where it ends on the zigzag line. And I need to straighten out my zigzag or my string and the measurement I got was 17, 17 centimeters. <coughs> All right, let's do this, uh, this next zigzag line. I need to put my string along the zigzag line, just like this. There we go. And then I'm going to pinch the end of it so I know where the end is. And then I'm going to match up the end here with the zero. 
and stretch it out along here to see how long long this one is. Let's see, stretch it out here. Oh, it looks like this string was 20 centimeters long. <coughs> so I know that this zigzag line is 20 centimeters long. All right, let's do this one. So I need to put my string on there. I'm going to match up my string here. There we go. And I'm going to pinch the end of it so that I know where the end of the string is. And I need to stretch that string out now against my ruler so I can measure it. And it looks like it was 11 centimeters long. Excellent job. All right. So now it's your turn. You need to get your <coughs> string and you need to get um, your ruler and you need to get this piece of paper out for your exit ticket. And you're going to answer these questions. Number one says, use your string to measure the two paths. Write the length in centimeters. So you're going to use your string to measure both of these, path M and path N. Then you're going to write how much path M is blank centimeters long. Then you're going to write path N is blank centimeters long. Number two says Mandy measured the path and said both paths are the same length. Is Mandy correct? You need to circle yes if she's correct or no if she is not correct. And then you're going to write why she is correct or why she is not correct. After you're done, you need to seesaw your teacher. Good luck.